we are back with another war video today. And this is going to be war number 9 against CZSK. We are going to be bringing in Crossbones, Titania, and White Magneto. We're going to be going up path 1, uh, both sections again. And then we have two mini fights as well. This first fight we're going to be going up against Werewolf by Night here. We are going to be using Titania. Um, and yeah, we're going to use a Power Start 1. Basically plans just to get to Special 3. And throw some heavies and end the fight. Um, ideally I do want to try and get some or throw a heavy before our Special 3. Then throw some heavies while they're in the corner. We do ideally want to get a couple heavies in at the beginning just to prevent the regen. Um... Because it is a buff on this node, not passive. So you'll see I try and get some heavies in here and there at the start. I think I do make a mistake trying to dex a special one. Oh, no, just block a bit of it, which is fine. We get some ruptures on us, but it's not going to do very much damage. As you see there, my stagger took away one of his heal buffs. Same thing here. We get heavy. Special 3. Um, he's already down around 70 before we throw that. So this is going to do a lot of damage. And yeah, we're going to heavy in the corner a bit. First of the heavy relic. And then full combo. And we had the special 2 ready to throw if we needed it. So first fight down, no issues whatsoever. Our next fight is going to be the scorpion here. Um, I've taken a bunch of different champion or fights here uh scorpion shouldn't be too awful uh we just want to make sure we get our intercepts in bait special ones ideally as we can likely convert some of the poison he'll apply to us into furies and we can also heavy counter very easily that to pause our own furies we do have a white mags here and i do have the power start one just from the previous fight here I'm trying to get a quick intercept, which I do, straight into the special one. Here he throws a special one a little late. We get the block up just in time. We get Dex into a special one again. Here we're trying to get another intercept. We hit it. Special one again. Trying to get him to throw the special, his own special one, which he does again. We get a heavy counter one more time. We're doing a good job of keeping our Furies up, so as long as we have above six, or above three, I mean, he won't be able to avoid our, our Dex, or Vade, I mean. Um, so yeah, as you see there, that fight went super smooth. We did a good job getting our Taunts up and pausing our Furies. Uh, next fight here is Thing. Um, if I remember right, this one does get a little sloppy. I've done this fight before, uh, just the previous war. Maybe it was the one before that. Um, but we just want to make sure we're not dexing too much and that we're getting intercepts in. So, here you see us throw another special one. I can't remember why we have a special one. I think it's for the next fight. Here we try and get an intercept. He doesn't want to play again. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of furies either, so we finally get the intercept though. He's going to throw the special one. We get dex and pause. Here we're going to try and get another intercept. He doesn't want to play again. And yeah, here we're going to throw this. Plan was if we needed to, we are just going to eat it, which would have been fine. Here we're trying to get an intercept again. I accidentally relic there. That was obviously not on purpose. Here I fish for an intercept and I don't get it and he's unblockable. So I knew I was going to eat that. Which, yeah, that's going to cost a lot of potions, unfortunately. We throw our special two. We have the taunt up now. We're looking okay. We're going to pause our furies here. Just take this into block. And then I think we're going to intercept and combo out. So, yeah. A little sloppy. Um, could have been a lot cleaner, obviously. But we do get out of there. Just going to cost us some potions. Um, this war in general kind of was a potion sink. Next fight here is going to be Doom. Um, this fight makes a lot of sense for either Silk or Titania to take. Um, my rank 3 Silk is on defense. 
So we're going to be using Titania again, um, who also worked great for um, Werewolf by Night. So here we do want to try and get some, again, heavies up, because again, this is the node with the actual buff heal, uh, not a passive. So we do want to get heavies up to ideally uh, prevent the heal from coming in. So here we're trying to bait special ones. And this one we didn't get the timing right, so we're just going to get the heal up. Here we get our heavy. We're going to throw our special three. I am running power back boosts. Um, I assume this was going to take at least two specials. We're going to throw the first heavy here. We go for a second, and he throws the special one right away, which is a little bit annoying. We're going to throw our heavy here. Bait a special one. So here you'll see we do have the stagger up when the heal comes, so we do prevent it, which was good. Here we're going to get a heavy off again. Try and bait the special one. So now we're at three bars of power. We wanted to bait this last special one out while his aura is up, so now he's going to have no aura, no power for the most part, and we're going to get a heavy thrower special three. He's already down at 40%, so this is going to do a good amount of damage. And then we're going to try and heavy in the corner a bunch again. I think again he throws the special. Yeah, he's just throwing the special one. Here we're going to go in for the full combo. Relic. Keep calling away and throw our own special one. And this is going to be enough to get the job done. So, a little on the slow side. A little annoying that Doom kept throwing the special one with all the debuffs on. But... Yeah, that seems to always be the case where Titania doesn't really prevent people from throwing specials. Next is this Titania fight uh, with Crossbones. And looking back, Mike and I almost swapped. He had node 37 Photon, and I had node, this node 38 Titania. And we probably should have swapped him, honestly. Um, I did this fight the time before, so I figured this was going to be fine. But you're going to see... It's all goes fine at the beginning. I'm doing a good job getting my intercepts in. I do have a white mags to help make this a little bit easier. We're throwing our special ones, baiting her specials. We're going to do a good job of heavy countering to pause our furies. Again, at the beginning, we're doing a good job keeping our intercepts up. This heavy here. Heavy counter with our own. We see that our haymaker's back. We're going to evade it. Wait it out nice and patiently. We'll get her over on it while it's going on. Here we're going to try and hit our intercept. Which we hit. We're going to throw our special one again. Get another intercept. There I accidentally relicked. And then I think it threw me off a bit. And so I tried to dex her special two. Which obviously went really badly. So we took a ton of damage. Now I'm kind of in a corner, trying to play better, knowing I need to kind of clutch this out. Strategy is still the exact same. There's nothing I can really do. We're going to have to take specials in the block and hope we have enough help. Thankfully, a couple of our debuffs do stick around, so we are able to heal from it, which kind of helps us out quite a bit. Again, we want to keep intercepting, though. Make sure we're checking her haymaker, like right here. We get a heavy counter, but we know her haymaker's coming, so we're going to wait it out. Get her over on up while that's happening. Go for light intercept. We hit it. Again, take the specials in the block. Heavy counter to pause our furies. Keep getting intercepts in when we can. And now she's pretty low. So I think we're going to go for the kill here since we have the relic. Full combo. And she goes down. So... Yeah, definitely not the cleanest fight. Um, it really did go well. If I just would have blocked that special two, we would have been completely fine. Um, so yeah, one minor mistake really almost killed us, which is, yeah, it's kind of what happens with this tactic. Uh, thankfully, we we're running invul or else we definitely would have died. But we're going to move up to our last fight, which is going to be this silk here. Uh, I took, what did I fight last for here? Maybe a Silk again? No, I can't remember who we fought here. We've taken to this node two times in a row now. 
uh, with the white magneto, I think Crossbones is probably the best option. A lot of times he can prevent the defender from getting prowess, as once he gets up to three fury buffs, he kind of prevents that. So that helps quite a bit. Again, kind of takes away the puncture as well, or the impact charge, or whatever the hell they call it. We are going to have to throw another invol on here. I don't want to die, and after last fight, I'm a little shook up from it. But same strategy here. Get our light intercepts, bait specials, and just play smart. So there we get a heavy. We already had intercepts. We'll take this into block. Again, slower combo to make sure we get our intercepts in if we need to. We hit our intercept here. We're going to throw our special one right away. Bait this special from her. All into our block again. Keep getting our light intercepts in. We're going to throw our special one. No, we're just going to bait hers first. We're going to trigger overruns. So we have more than three furies. Heavy counter her heavy just because it played out nicely like that. Throw our special ones. We don't want to throw our special twos again here. No reason to do that. Bait this special one from her. She throws it very nicely for us. Here we get a light intercept. We hit it. We get a relic. Heavy counter to pause our debuff. Our furies. Here I'm trying to bait the special one. She throws it. And we're able to trigger our overrun during it. We need to hit an intercept again, throw our special one, and then now we're close. We have eight Furies, so we're going to try and finish this out. And this special one is going to end it. So, good amount of damage in the block, but happy with how we played that. Um, and yeah, that's going to do it for this war for us, six fights. Um, we do end up winning pretty handily here. Uh, we kind of finished up and had 10 deaths only, and they were already at 9 with a bunch of fights left, so I think they just kind of stopped boosting, um, just to make things easier, but, yeah, oh, sorry about this, but that's gonna do it for this video, though, um, we have three more wars left, and we'll see if we can finish strong and get Masters.